Hi there, my name's Ailish. I'm an artist and bookbinder. I live in County Clare and I have a bookbinding business called Folded Leaf. So what I do is I make one of a kind or limited edition books with other artists, for writers or for book lovers and also for myself. So the books that I make are a little bit different from your typical adult book because they don't tend to have much text or writing in them, but they have lots of pictures and they fold out and open up in unusual ways. So they're called artist books and they are like a work of art in book form. So a little bit like you see a painting on a wall, except it's in a book that you can touch, you can open and you can look at and interact with. And I'll show you some of my books now. Here's a new artist book that I've made and it's called Words About Words. So this book is an ABC book and you might remember those books from when you were learning your alphabet. So typically these books have words like A is for apple or B is for boat. But this book is an ABC book for adults. So it has quite complicated words about language. And each word I have made a collage to illustrate the meaning of the word. So it's like a picture book, but for adults. So today we're going to make a one sheet book. It's called a trousers book. And can you guess why it's called a trousers book? I bet you can. So I'm going to show you now the materials and tools that you'll need to make this lovely little book. So here are the materials that you need to make your book. You'll need a pencil, a scissors, a sheet of paper. And it doesn't matter what size or what colour the sheet of paper is. I chose green just because I love that colour. You'll also need a glue stick, some crayons, and then some sheets of paper. I have three sheets here. It can be any type of paper and any colour, it doesn't really matter. So that's a pencil, scissors, a sheet of paper, some white sheets of paper, glue and some crayons. So the first step of creating your book is to fold your piece of paper. So the first fold we're going to do is lengthways. So we're folding the long side over to the other long side. So what I do is I gently fold it over and I make sure to match up the corners so that they're sitting directly on top of each other. And then I press it down. So what we have are two long rectangles. The next fold is in the opposite direction. So we are going to fold it in half again but this time it's the short side coming up to meet the other short side. So, how many rectangles do we have now? Now we're going to fold our page into eighths. So to do that, we're going to turn the page round and we're going to be folding the edge into the center. So I'm going to fold it forward and line it up with the center fold and press it down. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need two more. So we're going to turn it around again and fold this edge into the center. So I'm going to fold it in lining it up with the center fold and then press it down. So how many rectangles am I left with now? So you need your pencil for this step. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a line where we're going to cut. So we're going to make a line starting at the bottom and coming up one, two, three folds. Okay, so that's starting at the bottom, 
coming up one two three folds and stopping there so you don't do any line at the top here so once you're happy with your line what we're going to do next is cut along this line to make our book so starting at one end I'm going to cut carefully along the line and it doesn't matter if your book gets a little bit jaggedy when you cut it that's all part of the fun of making books so the most important thing is be sure to stop cutting when you get to the third fold here now you should have cut your book up the middle and you'll see that it kind of looks like two legs like somebody's trousers so that's why I call this a trousers book so we're going to fold our book now into shape so I go to one of my trousers legs and I have a little rhyme that helps me with this and it's very very simple it's just over under so how it goes is over under so I'm going underneath over under again I'm going underneath over under over and we have our lovely little book so I'm just going to show that again now so the rhyme is over under over under over under and over and there's your book so I'm going to show you how to do a simple crayon rubbing now using a piece of paper a leaf and a crayon so what you want to do is you put the leaf underneath your piece of paper and then you rub on top using the side of the crayon and see what magically comes through the page. Ooh. Isn't that good? So I'm going to try and look around my house now and see what different patterns and textures I can find to make rubbings off. Have you any ideas for yours? Here's the top of a radiator. I'm going to see how this one works out. Here's the tiles from my kitchen floor. Let's see what happens. The corner of a chair. The bottom of a basket. Bottom of my shoe. A piece of wood. A ring bound book. I like to lay my rubbings side by side and take a really really good look at them at the different patterns the different kind of movement and textures and colors that are in them and see can I see any stories 
in any of the pictures that I've just made. So for instance, this one here reminds me of going sledding in the snow. This looks like a big icy patch of snow and here are all the little tracks from the sledges going through. This rubbing reminds me of a storm. So maybe it's a winter, winter storm and Santa's on his sleigh but he's getting blowed around. And this part also reminds me of a little road. So maybe this one could be a story about a road and a storm. Can you see any characters in this one? I can see four little people and I think they look very cold. They've got their arms wrapped around them and they're shivering. So once you have an idea about what kind of people or animals or what happens in your story, you can start cutting out your pieces of paper to stick into your book. So my story is going to be about children slaying in the snow. So I'm going to cut out my first scene. And it's up to you how you cut it out. You could even rip or tear it. It doesn't matter at all. And sometimes ripped paper can look really nice because it makes it look a little bit jaggedy. Ooh. And kind of a little bit like the edges of snow when it's melting. So here is my first thing that I'm going to put into my book. So I'm going to get my little trousers book and I'm going to open it up wide. And what I'm going to do is I am going to be gluing this onto the book. So we have to be careful about gluing it over where it's cut. But you can always recut it afterwards if you glue over that part. That's no problem. So I'm going to get my glue stick and put glue on the back of my rubbing. And once you're happy with the amount of glue on it, we can pick it up and then we're going to position it onto our book. So will I stick it this way or this way? Hmm. Oh, I think this way. I kind of like how it'll go around that corner of these pages. So I'm going to stick it on now. So once you're happy it's stuck, you can decide whether you want to cut these pieces off or leave them on. I'm going to cut mine off. I really like these four people here. I think I'm going to cut them out and have them in my storybook. Meet Hop, Skip, Jump and Pop. They're the little boys and girls in my story. So I'm going to stick them again into my book. Here's Hop. She really likes going slaying. So she calls into her friend's house, Skip, who lives next door. Then they go slaying all day long 
and completely tire themselves out. Just at the end, they come across Jump. Poor Jump has just fallen off his sled. Uh-oh. He is not very happy. So I'm going to put him upside down. Hop and Skip decide to help Jump all the way back home to his mother who is waiting there with a big smile. And that's my Christmas story. Once you're happy with all your people and your animals in your story, you can fold it back up again into book form and take it out to read whenever you want. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed making your book. And remember, you can add to this book at any time at all. You can add new people to your book, new creatures, new storyline, whatever you want. It's your book. And also you might want to think about your cover of your book. Maybe you'll have a drawing on the cover or maybe you'll add a title to it. Anyway, I hope you had lots of fun making it and I hope you make many, many more. Thanks.